Okay, in this presentation, I'm going to present a special case of the mutate function uh, in dplyr. So this is the for, in the first instance, this is dplyr, one of the main tidyverse packages. Okay, and uh, library dplyr, library magrito. I'm going to use that pipe operator there. Uh, now, previously, I would have looked at mutate. Okay, sorry, I just messed that up there. Mutate, and I did it again. Okay. Now there's a special argument of mutate called coalesce, and that's what I'm particularly interested in here. And it's essentially for updating NAs. Now it's a bit of an unusual case, but as always with these unusual cases, it's unusual until it's vital, if you get me. Okay. It's the one thing you need, and that happens every so often. So good code vocabulary helps a lot. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is set up a little dummy data set. Okay. Just really simple looking uh, data here okay so just call it my df it's composed of three variables okay variable one variable two and variable three now variable two starts off just as a copy of variable one okay and variable three is just entirely different okay so variable one variable two they're essentially uh, copies of each other now the reason i'm doing that is just so you can see the before and after okay so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to focus on variable two, okay? And what I want to do is for argue some some let's say for some reason uh, I might need to do this. I need to update na with this value here five, okay? Or whatever's in variable three. And if it's nine or it's not an na there, it gets left alone. So it's sort of conditional on whether or not it's an na, a missing value by the way, as na, okay? So that is essentially it. So we want to update variable two if it's on an NA with uh, with the value from variable three. Okay. Now, um, sorry, just actually, there's a sort of some interesting mathematics there. Uh, well, actually, oh, that that's a sort of beside the point. I'll leave that out actually. So what I'm going to do here is uh, get this data frame. Okay, and I'm going to mutate it. Okay, that's the pipe operator, by the way, uh, from the McGreet or R package. Okay, now anyway, go back to this. I'm going to update var, var2. Okay, and what I'm going to do is coalesce var2 and var3. Okay, so let's have a look at that. That's uh, this uh, job in a nutshell. Okay, so what happens before is. Um, Okay, so where we had a nine here, and we have still have a nine here. Okay, this got this got left alone essentially. Okay, the value that was there beforehand was nine. The value that is there now is nine. Okay, so essentially var one is the sort of before case. What was there before? Var two is now the after case. Okay, and var three is what got what what got changed in var two. Okay, so for example, uh, this was an NA, now it's a 5, and this 5 came from here. Likewise, this was an NA, now it's a 2, and it came from there. Okay? That is essentially what the coalesce function is about. Okay? It's, again, there. it's a sort of very handy for programming microarray data. Okay? And cleaning microarray data. Okay? That's it. I'll leave that there.